Dan Juma's come across this time to deliver this corner. Right foot in the header, flashes over the bar from Mepham from five yards. Got a terrific contact on it, Chris Mepham. Not the first time this season we've seen him in a great position and not able to head it on target. The closest the Cherries have come, Mepham heads over. Oh, wow. If they uh, weren't to win this evening, because it's over the top for Joshua King, who's onside here. Shout out goal for the Norwegian, takes a touch onto his right foot. Out comes Wildsmith, comes across the goal to Brooks. Blocked away behind, what a clearance that is from Borna at the near post as David Brooks on his right foot had the goal gaping in front of him and it was blocked away brilliantly. Well, I think Kingy's having a little goal in there because he couldn't return the favour. He, Kingy's standing on the, on the edge of the six-yard box. So he sort of dropped in behind Joshua King. Is that long ball over the top? Finds Josh Windass onside, and Windass goes round Begovic, and he's pushed over by Steve Cook, and that's a penalty. And Steve Cook might face further punishment here. It's going to be a yellow or red card potentially for the Cherries captain. But Josh Windass has won Sheffield Wednesday a penalty as he rounded Begovic. He was pushed to the ground, cuts off. It is a red card for Steve Cook. Double jeopardy. The referee decides that was not a genuine attempt to play the ball, and the Cherries captain is sent off for what is deemed a professional foul. Sheffield Wednesday have a penalty. It'll be a one-game ban for Steve Cook. He's going to face the Sheffield Wednesday captain, Barry Bannon, who shoots low into the bottom left corner. And the home side are in front. And Bournemouth, with 20 minutes remaining, and only 10 men are going to have to come from behind against a team on minus four points. Uh, things just got difficult, didn't they?